Hey guys, it's July 28th. I'm back out here. I'm what I call my trout spot, which isn't too far from Black Point. Black Point's the next stop. And um, looking at the water and the seagrass to see how it's improved or not improved since uh, since last uh, month. But the uh, water is very clear. Like I say, we've very little rain. And what I see, I do, do see shoal grass from here. And I'm sure there might be another type of grass down there. I won't know until I get down there. And I am seeing more of this algae that's starting to grow. And uh, that is a concern with me is, is this algae going to sit there and blanket the seagrass? So um, I'm going to get down on the water, check it out. I can already tell I see a lot more bait fish than I did last time I was here. I did see the seagrass. It was coming back. But I didn't see that much bait fish. This time I'm seeing a lot more bait fish, which when seagrass comes back, give it time. The small baits will come and small fish will start eating it and then hopefully we'll start seeing larger fish like snook trout and redfish also on these flats so let me get in the water and give you a better update on what's going on i'm a little trout spot i didn't see any trout but i did see a lot of bait it was a really good thing to see um, pinfish small bait fish and quite a bit of snapper. The snapper have moved on to this grass flat and uh, they're just taking advantage of the uh, the smaller baits that are able to hide in here. You know, going back uh, six months ago, this is just total sand, nothing here. So uh, very encouraging. The water is about two foot deep. So it's not very deep area. Um, the grass that I saw was shoal grass. I didn't see any Johnson grass or any other uh, any other type of grass going up. I'm, I am seeing a lot more algae, and that is a concern. So um, I will like with like the other day when I was down south. I'm going to be checking with a biologist and uh, find out a little bit more about this algae if if it is a problem and uh, what we can do about it. Anyway, going to head over to Black Point. Check that section out now. Now here at Black Point, the water quality isn't as good as you can see the tide line where the uh, fresher water from the high tide is uh, definitely better at the trout spot than it is here. It's about a foot and a half deep, two foot, and uh, as you can see the visibility isn't too good. Uh, yeah, I can see grass growing and I can see bait fish, a lot of mullet on this flat. A lot of mullet so I'm gonna get down in the water really need to get there and take a closer look and get in the water to really tell what's there but uh, there's a lot of bait a lot of bait well I got in the water black point the water quality was iffy I think it's more the tide than anything else uh, the grass looked good it's all show grass I didn't see any uh, any other type of grass going and I didn't see that much hardly any algae so the grass looked healthier here than it did in other spots um, has it grown much? It may be an inch or two. You know, it looks like six, eight inches in most part of this flat. Water is probably a foot and a half deep. Uh, there are some bait fish. I couldn't really see much when I was in the water. I only had like a, you know, three foot visibility. So, but uh, definitely seeing a lot, a lot of mullet on the surface and uh, seeing little schools of bait fish as I'm standing on the deck. So, it's it, it is it's it's looking good but what i want to do is i want to try to find a spot with clean water maybe a little bit deeper these these spots here in sebastian are about you know two foot deep but i need to see if the grass is growing in that three to four foot deep and that's a key region and that's a region i've been blocked out through about you know bad water quality sun wasn't reaching the bottom enough to really to get seagrass established and that's where we really need it so i'm going on the hunt for uh seagrass well, my third dive was an area, it's uh, just north of Rosiette Island on the uh, south south end. And the water here is about four feet deep. It's clear, surprisingly clear here than it is toward the inlet. I guess the outgoing tide there is pulling stuff out from Sebastian River. But um, dove down here, I didn't see any shoal grass at all. Saw a lot of drift algae. And uh, drift algae is just nasty stuff. And it looked to be, um, did see some Johnson seagrass, I believe. And uh, very short. I mean, the stuff's only like a quarter inch or a half inch. And I thought I'd definitely be finding more of that now. This time of year, it'd be definitely uh, taller and larger. But, uh, you know, 
know. Seen some other of these, I don't know what these ball things are. They're just they're like spongy, who knows what on the bottom. And a few other interesting things floating around there. But I did see a lot more bait, small fish, even in this area. Uh, than I did in the past. Past um, six months ago, this whole area was just a desert. You didn't see anything, you know, nothing, nothing swimming around. So it's encouraging. Let's see what next month comes. And we're getting into uh, hurricane season, and um, a lot's going to be told in the next two months. So this is Pete Hink. Stay tuned, and uh, thank you for watching.